everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and to my first very excited fashion video i i know i've been very vlog heavy but i wanted to get some vlogs out now it's time for some of the good stuff and the fashion content is now going to begin i want a nice balance of vlogs and then fashion content so new in stuff styling hauls any ideas you have do let me know below and i'll add them to my list of ideas but first up we have a seriously good rail here of some new in pieces that i want to try on with you i've not tried on anything yet so this is going to be a bit of a first impressions try on as well i'm obviously still working this all out but i think my process for now let me know in the comments below if there's a better way of doing this is going to be in order so i don't have to move the camera too much because i want to try things on rather than have cutaways if that makes sense so the reason also why i've got sort of a basic outfit on is i can whip my blazer off try on the jackets and shirts knitwear first then i can do bottoms so i can just whip off my split leggings do the trousers i might have to re-angle you for that and then some dresses as well which i'll finish off with at the end so that is the plan of action lots of goodies to show you so let's get going first up we have i've been so excited for this to arrive i was very kindly gifted a few pieces from a brand called pixie market i had a look at their new collection and this gorgeous i have to go really far back long line white double breasted coat obsessed with the collar detailing i probably should have ironed it so let's give this a try and it's got incredible shoulder pad. Ignore the creasing. I just got too excited and forgot to have steam anything. Um, oh my God. Length of this coat. I am so fussy about length of coats. I hate when coats sort of sit in between your knee and your ankle. That's sort of like halfway. For me, it's either got to be dragging on the floor or much nearer or just above your ankle. And I also just feel like the longer the coat, the more chic and high-end it can feel, if that makes sense. But, oh my god, the shoulder pads. <sighs> okay, this is definitely a keep. I'm actually obsessed. Okay, we're off to a flying start. Okay, the next up is this insane crop jacket from H&M. I've been telling myself I do not need this. For weeks and i was so shocked it was actually still in stock when i went back to grab it so i first saw g post um georgia white posted it and i loved it but i was like oh i've got too many be a theme here based on what i'm saying i said i don't need any more cropped jackets particularly bomber style there's two more i have to show you so georgia wore it first and i was like oh my god i'm obsessed with that don't need it don't need it don't need it and then Oh, I keep forgetting her name. I think it's the one. Well, let me check. She's called the shopper on Instagram. Lauren. I thought it was Laura Lauren. Lauren, the shopper on Instagram. If you don't follow her, incredible style. She also got it and included it in one of her styling reels. And it just tipped me over the edge. I was like, I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. And what I loved about what she's done. Okay, I lied. I did try this on <laughs> because I rolled the sleeves up like she did. Um, Lauren rolled the sleeves up, which I absolutely loved the shape of. I just find it so much more flattering when it cuts you off just at the perfect point. Just rolled up the sleeves here as well, like Lauren did, and I'm obsessed. This is what it looks like without the sleeves rolled up. I think I actually prefer it. Just adds a bit more shape. Okay. I'm gonna have to have a jacket clear out because I have a feeling I'm gonna to wanna to keep every single one of these. Um, and I really don't need <laughs> this many crop bomber jackets, but oh, love. Also, I will link everything down below in the comments. So have a look there for links and stuff. Okay, next up, also this rail, I feel like it might collapse at any point. I think we need a rail upgrade. <laughs> next up is this brown vintage effect leather jacket from source unknown they very kindly messaged me and said they're bringing out a new jacket and would love for me to have it so i couldn't say no 
and I actually in my defense don't have a brown jacket or anything that's this like faded um is that, what is that the right description for it sort of the faded um effect and I want to start getting into wearing more browns and things so I thought that this would be perfect I love the oversized sleeve I think it's just one size as well oh my god I'm also not telling you sizing am I mm. um so just to rewind the H&M blazer blazer the H&M jacket I got in a small so I didn't actually size up it's already quite oversized and then this is a one size jacket the really versatile jacket that has ticked off a gap in the wardrobe okay the last of the cropped fold jackets I'm buying no more this is actually Georgia White's fault yet again. I was lucky enough to pick some bits from Pixie Market and I saw this. And I'm also obsessed with Lauren's Acne Bomber. And we, when we went for coffee um, last week, she wore it. And it is such a good jacket. And what I love about this is it's really thick and warm. Oh my God. I am obsessed. That is such a good jacket crop cut off as well it is a size okay it doesn't actually say what size it is but i will put in the comments below it is so warm and snug and again with the bomber jacket they are so versatile trousers jeans skirts um but yeah i'm really loving the brown plum tone definitely want to check out if you are after a more affordable version of the acne studios bomber because that is heaven okay jackets are done Okay, now to top, so shirts, blouses, knitwear. And first up, you may have already seen me wear this over on my Instagram, but I could not include it in my new in roundup. So this is the H&M denim shirt, but the cuffs. If you have followed me for a while, you know my slight obsession with cuffs. And we have another piece in here, also from H&M, with an insane cuff. I saw this on the model and I was like, I need that in my life. We wouldn't wear it with this bottom half but just to give you an idea of how it looks on so i've gone eight in this i probably actually could have gone down to a six there is quite a lot of extra material at the side not really an oversized sort of look because you wanted to cinch you in at the waist and sort of make the sleeves the statement if i'm not tucking it in and just wearing it out with sort of tighter trousers or skirts i probably would just want a little bit of that um so I'm still going to keep it, love it how it is, but if I was going to be, if I was going to order it again, or if you guys are interested, stick or go down a size. Okay, while we're on the theme of ridiculously, ooh, ridiculously oversized cuffs from H&M, here we go. I was missing a blue shirt from my wardrobe and it was on my gap list and I saw this and I thought I'm going to try and see how it looks with the massive cuffs. Okay, how are we looking? Okay, I do kind of love it. I just don't feel like cuffs get enough love and that is insane. But you know what I mean? Just a blue shirt, which can sometimes be quite simple, just having that bit of detail just instantly elevates an outfit. I'm gonna undo the bottom slightly so say I had a pair of jeans a really good length at the back as well I am five six for reference um, but for me I do like it when they just cover under my bums and you know what that's a really great throw on office look oversized blue shirt amazing cuff detail split leggings and then I've just got on a little heel boot that's a really easy office outfit so, oh earring That was very close. Okay, another one for the keeper. I was about to take that off, but I need to keep on to introduce the next one. Um, okay, next up, all the things on the rail. This is probably the one that I'm. I don't really need. I saw it on. I saw it on the website, and I was like, that looks great. But I'm like, is this something that's going to work really hard in my wardrobe? So I'm going to try it on and see what I think. But my gut is. Because of the style and shape, it's probably sort of more of a one-off that I would wear rather than something that's going to work 
really hard in my wardrobe. Let's try it on anyway. Obviously, not the right outfit on the bottom half for it. I don't really love when things are tight on the bottom and tight on the top. I do really like it. I love the neckline. I think that's really, really flattering. And I don't really have anything like this in my wardrobe. But I think it's something that I would just wear once and then maybe not really reach for it again, if that makes sense. It is a gorgeous knit, but for me, I just I just don't think I would reach for this very often. But if this is something you do love and you would wear all the time, um, I got an S and it is 25.99. So I think that's gonna have to be, I don't know. Next up, we have a gorgeous little grey cardi from H&M. I have a chunky grey cardi but I don't have more of a fitted grey cardigan that you can sort of wear as just a top. It's just a really good key wardrobe piece that you can layer, wear on its own, not the right bottoms but just for time and we're not here for 85 hours. I'm just going to keep the same bottoms on but I love this. I love the fact with cardigans as well, especially more fitted ones, you can play with the different layering, like you could button all the way up, or what I quite like to do is have sort of the top and the bottom open. So soft and snug. With a pair of amazing black, either tailored trousers or jeans, or a slip skirt, or open with a little tank underneath. But that is a very, very good wardrobe basic and another one to the key pile. The difference between the Zara knit, which I haven't put back on the rack. So this is the difference between pieces like this, which a few years ago, I would have just bought lots of different types of knits that I love, but maybe like wear once or twice. Whereas now I'm trying to be more conscious of buying pieces that I can wear in lots of different ways dress up, dress down. So the difference to me between buying this Zara in it and maybe reaching for it once or twice and only it going with like certain styles, this grey cardi, I just know it's gonna work in so many different ways and go with so many different outfits. Such a great price point as well. So in terms of sizing, oh my God, I can't see. So I got an S in this. So I didn't actually size up in this either. Um, so I would stick true to size um, with this one. Okay, next up. Am I the earrings? <laughs> I love these Amazon earrings so much, but after a while, I feel like they just slip out of my ears. Right, anyway, back to my naughty new purchase. As you all know, I wear my Henny mohair jumpers to death. I've got the grey and the cream. And I saw the totem knit go into the matches sale. And I was like, I've been after a black version because I know I wear my other ones so much. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna treat myself. I know I'll get so much wear out of this. Um, so we are going to try this one now for the first time for sizing. This is the medium large because again with my Henny ones, I love how big they are. Let's try her on. I feel like I'm also going to have to speed up this trying on process because I feel like I've been recording for a very long time and we still have quite a few bits to get through. I mean, it's actually a bit shorter than I thought it would be for an ML, but still sits really, really nicely. I just love an oversized sleeve. And you know what's also quite surprising is it's not as itchy as I thought it would be. It's actually really soft. I haven't got anything underneath and it doesn't feel itchy at all. And that's one of the things I was worried about, but it's great. I just love, I just love an oversized snuggly piece. And this just ticks all the boxes. I say that about the length being shorter than I thought, but the one thing that actually does annoy me sometimes about the Henny ones is they are that bit much longer, so if I want to tuck, there's a lot of fabric, whereas if I want to tuck with this, it will be much easier. Okay, yeah, I am very happy with this. Just know my cost per wear of this. Got math. Oh, I can feel my tummy start to rumble. 
definitely time for lunch soon. For this part of the video, I might have to rejig some angles so you can see my bottom half properly. First up in the trouser new in section to try on is this black tailored pair of trousers from the Frankie shop. But they're more of a cargo style because they've got the pocket detail on the sides. Now, I've been after a good pair of black everyday tailored trousers. Although in my head I sort of pictured just quite plain, I saw the pockets and I did quite like the style of them. I love Frankie Shop tailoring, so I just thought I would give these a try. Um, and I still think, even with the pockets, they still make a great wardrobe essential. Oh, I love the fit already. Let me try tip you. Okay, well this is the best we're gonna get for now. Um, I love them. That for me is the perfect length, fit, style for an everyday pair of black trousers. I've got enough room to tuck knitwear t-shirts in without feeling too restricted. Um, I've got a size just smaller than these. Um, but you know what, I thought the pocket detail might be too fussy, but they're actually not at all. They're seamlessly blend in with the trouser and they're not too distracting. Okay, I'm really, really happy with those. And they're also the perfect length for when I wear them with trainers and flats as well. They are a big, big tick. Okay, next up we have, not my usual purchase, are these knitted trousers from Ray. Now, not something that I actually had on my list of things to get, but I saw them on the model and how she styled them and I was like, that look is a bit of me. And they're more flared at the bottom, so sort of really tight and hugging. I didn't try them on first, but this is what they were like on the model. Oh my God, no, they're so long. Can you see? Look at all that. Do you know what? If they were the perfect length, I'd be obsessed with those. Oh, do it. Oh. oh, that's so annoying because they are insane. What about with a heel? Do they still drag? Let me just shove one of these on to see if they're still really dragging. Okay, the heel, they're fine. Like, and what I would call, oh yeah, mm. you know what I might do because I am absolutely obsessed with the fit everywhere else, is I might go and get them tailored and just take off a couple of centimetres. They still sort of sit nicely with heels, but then if I also want to wear them with flats, I can as well. I'm not sure if you can see the knitted detail properly, but oh, the shape of them is honestly insane. Never, who's counting how many times that's dropped out of my ear? <laughs> okay, so keep, but I'm gonna get them tailored. Okay, next up, I'm not actually gonna try these on. I'm gonna do a cutaway to the styling reel that I did in them, just to save a bit of time. But these wide leg reformation jeans are also, I say they're new in. <laughs> if you watched my other vlog, you'll know that I, when I did my clear out, I found this package from Reformation that they very kindly sent me with these jeans in, jeans? <laughs> with these jeans in that I totally forgot about. I tried them on again and the fit and style of these is amazing. I don't have anything in my wardrobe, like a wide leg like these. Very excited to have these in my wardrobe. So we have another pair of Ray jeans here. I really want to start investing more in key pieces of denim and pieces that I wear all the time. Also heard amazing things about the Ray denim. Um, it was between these and a totem pair, but I thought I would give these a try first. Also hoping we're not gonna have the same problems as before. Are they making these jeans for giants? I know Ray's all about an oversized vibe, but who, these are made for giants. I thought you down again. So very, very high-waisted. Love the fit up top. Really comfy, great structure. But again, just, 
I'm on my tiptoes and they're just scraping. Like if I was to wear flats, would they be dragging? Grab the trainer to see what we're working with. They're just too long. These are gonna be a no. They're just too long and I don't mind with the other knitted pair because that is sort of more of a more dressy occasion where I would definitely wear a heel. Whereas with my jeans, you want to be able to wear them with flats as well without having to feel like you're dragging and ruining the bottoms. I'm gonna send these back and I'm gonna order the totem ones instead, I think, because they didn't look as long and were more of a good everyday straight leg. These are sort of, have more of a wide leg barrel shape to them. So Mill and I have been on the hunt for a wide, thick, high quality pair of joggers that we can have in the basics, gray, black, and for ages we haven't been able to find any that were long enough or thick enough. And then I found these on Adenola, so soft. They do have matching sweatshirts, I think as well, but I didn't get those. These are an extra small, so very, very oversized. They have a drawstring, so you definitely don't need to size up. Finally, on to dresses. This is a gorgeous chocolate satin little mini dress with a belt detail from Mango. I actually got this in store. Um, and when I saw it on the hanger, I was like, oh, that would look so amazing with like a sheer tight and some knee high heeled boots. I thought that might be the case. I don't think the belt is tight enough. I also feel the collar sitting a bit weird. I don't know if it's how it's just been sat. This vision looked better in my head. I feel like it just doesn't sit right like the collar is do you know what i mean i really like the idea of the belt and the skirt but then this bit goes a bit baggy i don't feel amazing in it so sadly i had high hopes of this because i love the color of it what do you guys think i think sadly it's just not fitting me right and it's just a little bit big so I think it's gonna be a no. Next up is, I'm very excited about this, this was the dress that I wanted to wear to that perfume event last week but sadly it didn't arrive in time but it's this gorgeous black mini dress from Zara and I just love the little belt detail. I'm picturing this with sheer black tights and either a little heel or an insane pointy knee high boot. My legs are so dry, I seriously need to moisturize. And then a little buckle, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. God, I really can't see what I'm doing. Oh my God, that's why. There we go. Not sure if that's on the right buckle, but just for now, and to gauge the vibe. Oh, I really like it. But I really love this detailing. I think an LBD in the wardrobe that works hard. It's just an absolute mess. But then I just love this little detail. It's still quite classic, but feels quite trendy. Love the fabric as well. It's quite thick. And this is 35 pounds. And the quality for that is actually really, really good. Um, I also got a small, I'm pretty sure, in this. Um, but again, we'll link everything below. So that's another one for the keep pile. I think that was quite successful. We've got a couple of bits that I'm sending back, don't we? But everything else was pretty successful, I would say. I'm flashing red. I did have some accessories to show you, but I feel like I might wait and do a separate video for new in shoes, bags, because otherwise this is just gonna be so long. So I think that's what we're gonna do, but I do have some very exciting things to show you. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know in terms of layout, if this is working, if it's better for me to do cutaways while I just chat, do you want me to try on? Any feedback would mean the absolute world because I really love doing these styling videos and things. Um, so yeah, do let me know any others. 
that you want me to do. Thank you so much for watching. Please do show any love, subscribe, all that cheesy YouTube stuff that actually helps so much. I hope you enjoyed the first fashion video and I will see you guys in my next one.